I, 23 F, am going to propose to my girlfriend, 23 F, tonight when she gets home from work. I've been wanting to do it for quite some time and I've had the ring for ages, and I just can't wait any longer. Due to Covid, we are in the UK, I can't take her out to do something fancy and romantic, so when she walks through the door I'm going to be on one knee surrounded by candles and rose petals, cliche, I know, and I was just wondering if anyone here had any ideas to help me jazz it up a bit, or if it's perfect the way that it is. Any comments will be greatly appreciated, thank you in advance, 3. Edit, I would really like some opinions on a few things if anyone would be so kind as to private message me. Edit number 2, Terese only about an hour and 40 minutes left until she comes home. I've spelled out will you marry me in petals on the floor, and I've got lots of candles all around it, and I've written her a bow today I fucked up a heartfelt letter which I'm sticking to the front door for her to read before she comes inside. Update, she said yes. I used post-it notes, wrote one letter per note to spell out will you marry me and dotted them round house and had her go hunting for them smile. Girl I need an update. Crying face, she said yes. I always felt a speech followed by a proposal is always better idea than a surprise. She will remember your words not the shock factor. You'll be able to gauge if it's even the right time to do it. What if she had a terrible day at work? It may feel more from and to the heart. Your idea is fine and all, but since you asked for comments thought I'd just give my two cents smile. Congratulations. I saw an at-home proposal where pictures were strewn all over the hallway from the time the couple met to the most current photo and little messages that were written with the photos. Just a suggestion from a cute proposal video I saw. Best of luck. I love that, I think I'm going to go and get some pictures printed. Thank you. Everything is absolutely great. I just can't describe how I'm happy for you 3-3 just tell her how you're glad that this day has come. Remind her something special that happened in your relationship. I'm sure you'll make a lovely union. Congrats! Exclamation mark party face, smiling face with hearts, peace dove, peace dove, peace dove. Oh we thank you so much. My, 19 slash M, parents are kicking me out by end of March. How can I convince them not to? I'm not leeching off them. I literally had two jobs I worked. My dad and mom came into my room today and had a one on one with me. They want me to leave. They're giving me till the end of March to get my things and get out. My dad says I'm 19 and working fast food. I'm going nowhere. They gave me a year and I still haven't stepped up to adulthood. Mom says at my age boys become men and start preparing to start a family or career. I have done neither and have no direction. My my dad then says they talked this over and think this is the right choice and this isn't open for debate. I don't know how to comprehend this. I worked two jobs, now just one. I'm 19 and they expect me to have my life figured out. I don't know what I want to do. How can I be expected to know this? I can't afford my car note or rent since the cost of living is so high here. What the hell am I supposed to do? Is this even fair? Was there something your parents wanted you to do but you refused, such as training for a trade, etc? What is your long-term plan? How long were you hoping to live with your parents? Convincing them, start by telling them you've given a lot of thought to what they've said, and you agree that you don't seem to have an upward career, but that you are actually working hard. Admit that you aren't sure how to do what they want and ask them what they want you to do to prove you're manning up as they seem to want. If you have to leave, ask for a longer end date so you can save more money and find a share house. Don't stay in your current city and don't sell your car. There are regional areas where living costs are much lower but you need a car to work. Do some online digging and find somewhere unlikely to move to. 
just wanted to add here in case you don't see my reply to the other guy's comment. Life is not a race from the moment you're born to figure it out as fast as you can by the time you're 18. People get so caught up in the grind and making money they forget what life is actually about. They also forget how hard it is for people of our generation, knowing that global warming is fucked and it's harder to find decent jobs or get a house these days. Additionally we don't know you or what your life was like growing up. You are not a failure, or a leech, or lazy or anything like that. You've literally been working. You're still so young. You are allowed to not know what you want to do yet. Everyone is going on their own path. Really just sounds like Ops parents are stuck in a world that doesn't exist anymore and is punishing their child for not living up to their flawed expectations. Bad parenting all around. Being young, especially right now during a global, fucking, pandemic is hard. Even if you knew what to do, it's not even certain it'd be possible. They should be encouraging their child with solution-based and motivated talks, not kicking their barely adult child out. Damn dude, your parents suck ass. I was expected to either go to college or begin to train for a career at 18. I went to college. I expected the same of my children, and one went to college and the other went to a trade school. Both are successful and independent, which is the goal of setting that expectation. That said, I always knew that was the expectation and so did my children. If your parents never communicated that expectation to you, it's kind of shitty to set it out of the blue even if it was a year ago. Because the expectation was always known, planning and seeking direction were in the works long before 18 for both me and my children. Think a little more notice would have been in order so you could get serious about planning a workable exit strategy in a reasonable time frame. That said, it looks like you're faced with a very short window to plan a strategy that will allow you to support yourself. Look at moving in with a roommate, possibly selling your car to get a cheaper option, look into trade schools with a short training period, etc. If you decide on the trade and meet with the people at a trade school or union and then bring that information to your parents with a firm plan in place for completion and move out, maybe they'll allow you to continue to live there while you complete that. Guy I've been seeing has a girlfriend. Story time, T, books. So I've been seeing this guy for almost two months now and I just found out the other night that he had a girlfriend. I wanted to be a good person so I messaged her, sent her screenshots and a photo of him in my room. However she said it just doesn't add up. Now the guy's claiming that I was his stalker and they've apparently filed a police report for harassment and stalking. I know I should just let it go and it shouldn't be my problem anymore but I just can't believe that he is getting away with this. I am so angry. I just can't with this story. Thank the lord that you aren't the girlfriend and let them both have each other, they deserve each other. They do. Exclamation mark. I hope you realize he isn't getting away with anything. She's telling you that she believes him but let's face it, she doesn't. She just doesn't want to validate you. Block both of them everywhere and move on with your life. It was better before them and it'll be great after them. You did the right thing and that is all you can do. Thank you for this, sad face. How would you be a stalker if he was in your room? Question mark. That girl is clearly in denial. I know I feel bad for her. Just describe his dick to her lol. Can't make that up. I actually have a video of his dick that he sent me.